Yeah, John, it looks like these temperatures aren't going to be lasting long. As of now, though, it has been somewhat of a warm but pleasant day overall. You can see, again, some lingering families, but really the aftermath of the move-in behind me in this uh, red bin over there is the first day is kind of started to slow down. Uh, but over the next couple of days, we are going to be tracking that warm-up, of course, uh, as especially as we get into the weekend, like you've been mentioning, uh, we are going to be seeing those temperatures get into the low to mid 90s by Saturday. And then by Sunday, we do actually see those temperatures uh, get into the higher 90s with those heat index values getting into the triple digits. Uh, so if you are going to be moving in these next couple of days, maybe uh, some brief tips for you to maybe stay safe in that heat. Uh, again, don't leave those pets or kids inside a parked vehicle. Make sure to drink that water and just stay hydrated overall. Uh, make sure to maybe if you can control it, move in during the cooler hours, either in the uh, morning or in the late afternoon. And uh, make sure to take those break, breaks in the AC, shade, whatever you can get, especially if you are moving into the dorms, uh, could see some nice AC in there. So make sure to take full advantage of that. And then, of course, wear that uh, lightweight and light colored clothing overall. So uh, just some general tips for you. If you don't, uh, you could start to see some symptoms of heat exhaustion or heat stroke, uh, feeling faint or dizzy, could be seeing that excessive sweating, nausea, vomiting, rapid weak pulse, muscular cramps. That's all going to be heat exhaustion. Make sure to, if you are experiencing those symptoms, uh, drink that water, cool down in the AC, and take a cold shower. As if you were looking at heat stroke, could be seeing that throbbing headache, uh, no sweating, body temperature of 103 or higher. Uh, dry, hot, red skin, rapid to strong pulse, nausea and vomiting, and unconsciousness. So make sure you are keeping track of that, uh, those conditions overall as you maybe move in these next couple of days. But uh, going to be tracking, again, those warmer temperatures. So as of right now, reporting live uh, from University of Missouri campus, ABC 17 Storm Track Forecaster Sawyer Jackson.